Welcome to Watches and Dreams. Today we are looking at a Seiko 5 again, the sports version. This is a GMT Seiko 5. These watches are outstanding value for money. They've received a lot of attention due to their quality really. This watch retails at approximately 450 to 500 US dollars. So it's on the upper end, I would say, of a Seiko watch. But you can see why they're so popular just because of the quality that you get for the money. Let's have a quick look around this watch. We have a Jubilee bracelet. It's actually a nice bracelet. The other Seiko 5 I got was a terrible bracelet, but this one is pretty good. It's quite wobbly. It's not the best bracelet in the world, but it's certainly an upgrade on the other bracelet I had. And then the clasp itself is a twin clasp. We'll get on that later. And then we've got the GMT function with a nice bezel with a black and like a gray type greeny color underneath. I'm not really sure what this color is. I'd say more of a gray, but it definitely has a green tinge to it as well. This is a super, super nice watch. So let's have a look around the watch in a little more detail. The case size is a big case size. It's 42.5 millimeters. You can get various dial colors, this being the black version, and you can get various bezel colors. And like I said earlier, this is the black and it's like a gray green type of color. This is a GMT version. You don't have to have the GMT function, but I love GMT watches, so this is why I chose this one. It's quite a thick watch, it's 14 millimeters, so you're not really going to wear this under a shirt. Uh, you can see on the camera there, it's a, it's a thick watch at 14 mil. And then if we look at the bracelet itself, bracelet is the Jubilee bracelet, it's slightly tapered. And it's 18 mil wide. And as we come around to this clasp, it is a double clasp. We push there, but the clasp is not great. It's a kind of this cheap version clasp. Not the best clasp in the world. No on the fly adjustment, but it does have several different adjustment links there, which if I'm honest are actually quite hard to adjust. I've adjusted it this morning and it's quite fiddly, guys has a see-through case back with the automatic. So it is an automatic watch, it's not a quartz watch, which makes a big difference. And then we spoke about the bezel previously. It's bi-directional bezel. It's not clicking, it's just a push around, which actually I quite like. It's a very smooth action. So the bezel, I have no problems lining up there at the 24 or the 12. And then you also have on the inside there. So you have a 24 hour clock on the inside. And we also have a Cyclops date window and the GMT hand is red there and the other hands are white. So it's a super nice looking watch. It has a slightly off center crown with crown guards, it's generally off center for Seiko. So let's have a look how this watch operates. In the first position is the wind position. It's actually a lot bigger crown. The other Seiko 5 I've got is very hard to move but this is very easy on that and then it's just a push down crown. It's not a screw down crown. It has a hundred meters of water resistance. I always get a bit nervous with the push downs with the water resistance, but I guess you can go swimming in this. No problem at all. So in the first position is to move. If you go clockwise, it will move the GMT hand. Very easy to do. And if you go anti-clockwise, it will move the date. So that's really nice. I like that configuration and then in the last position which holds the second hand for exact timings 
you move the minute, hour hand and the GMT hand. So with the revolving bezel and the 24 hour clock on the inside, you can have three different time zones on this watch, which is fantastic. So that's the functions and that just pushes back in very easily indeed. So I've mentioned the bracelet before, very nice Jubilee bracelet that is reminiscent of a Rolex Jubilee. Clearly not the same quality. You can hear it sort of clicking around a bit there. Couple of money, it's good. Is pins. So to release this bracelet, you have to use pins. As I said earlier, there's no on the fly adjustment. It's just these adjustment holes here, which are quite fiddly and you will not be able to do that on the fly at all. You just need a tool to change those. That's very nice. Seiko are watch brand, to be honest, I'm really, I wouldn't say falling in love with, but just really starting to appreciate the quality for the, oh, the bang for the buck, as they say. This watch is super, super popular and you can see why. Okay, guys, let's take a look at this watch on the wrist. And there she is, guys, the Seiko 5 Sport GMT Automatic on my 7.3 inch wrist. This watch is big for my wrist, I would suggest. 42.5 mil is over my sweet spot of 40 mil and it is fixed up. It's a very manly watch. Um, I would suggest it's probably not for smaller wrists, just due to the size and the thickness of it. it might look a bit big. It does feel a little bit top heavy if I'm honest, but what's not to like about this guy is that bezel is super nice. You can get like a Batman bezel as well for this. You can get like an orange dial. There's really different colors for all tastes. Okay guys, have a great day.